I got into Tinkara because I'm a writer always sniffing out new stuff. So I, I heard it. It was in the air. I heard about it. And, um, and it was Japanese, and that intrigued me. And so I started looking around and naturally found you. You Google Tenkara, what do you get? You get you. Uh, so, um, and then I didn't want to, uh, I didn't want to do one of those stories where I, I went out for an afternoon and tried it and wrote a story. You know, I, I, I wanted to do my due diligence. I wanted to learn how to do it. So I gave a summer to it, and I just found it to be really interesting and compelling. Around here on the small streams, I, uh, I decided to give it a, a season and learn how to do it. And then, I don't remember if I suggested to you that you come out or if you suggested coming out, but we, we hooked up. Yep. I remember it because, uh, so actually, as a matter of fact, so I sent you a rod, and then at one point, I forget if you emailed me or maybe, I think you emailed me asking a question, and I'm mm -hmm. like, that's John Gerak right there. He's going to write about Tenkara, and he better know what he's writing about. <laughs> <laughs> so I better go and teach it to him personally, and uh, that's mm -hmm. the first time. So I kind of invited myself to your home. It's like, let's yeah. go fish together, and I'll kind of show you what I've learned from mm -hmm. people in Japan. So I... Yeah, I made sure to invite myself. Plus, one of the cool things about having a fly fishing business is that I can connect with the people that I've been admiring for a long time. Mm -hmm. So I kind of jumped to the chance of fishing well, with you. And, and you can write <laughs> off the plane tickets. I can write off the plane tickets, but mostly I can meet people that I've been reading about in paperbacks for mm -hmm. years before uh, you know I, I got into the industry myself. You've seen so much stuff come and go in fly fishing. You've mm -hmm. seen so many different things, so many different rods. Where do you think Tenkata fits in with fly fishing, within fly fishing? What has it done for fly fishing, if anything? Well, at first, I, I wouldn't have been surprised. I didn't have an opinion one way or another. I just thought it was interesting. Um, it wouldn't have surprised me if it had been a flash in the pan like noodle rods or something. Or like, actually, I think switch rods are probably going to end up being in a few more years. But um, it wouldn't have surprised me if it was just a thing that happened for a while and and then you didn't hear any more about it. But it's really caught on. It's caught on surprisingly well. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't see the film tour in Boulder. I saw it up here to benefit in uh, in Lions. But I heard when that piece came on where guys were Tenkara fishing, the audience applauded. And so, you know, it's it's gotten to be a thing around here. Uh, beginner comes at fly fishing and he looks at all the flies and all the rods and all, I've got a, got a wine catalog here. And it's like, fifty-one. 52 pages of, of lines that you might need, right? And, uh, and in fact, you need maybe two. So uh, people are intimidated by that. And when, you, when they look at Tenkara and they go, yeah, you got a rod, you got a line, you got a fly. What else? Well, nothing. And a spool of tippet, maybe clippers. And that's it. And I think people just, just go, oh, well, yeah, that's what I was hoping for, it was something like that. And then the, the more experienced people, they're more experienced. They've got the stuff, they know how to use it, they know how to catch fish, and then it's something new. And those are two different ends of the spectrum. You know, so if you're Pretty fishing much, yeah. big fish, yeah. there's a tool for that. If you're catching trout primarily, there's a, you know, thing kind of, that's pretty much all of that. Tell me a little bit, you know, something that was very interesting when I came to visit you and I didn't know before, and you do talk about in the book, is the fact that you actually had a real curiosity and interest in Japanese culture, mm -hmm. you know, from college and that type of thing. So tell me uh, about that a little bit. Well, it's, it's just an amateur thing, and it sort of came out of the counterculture. We were, we were interested in Zen back in the 60s for... Uh, obvious reasons and um, 
And it was just that. I mean, I've always appreciated Japanese art and Japanese poetry and um, Japanese movies, for that matter. When I'm fishing Tenkara, I think, well, this is, you know, I love this simplicity. And you got everything in your pocket, everything you need in your pocket. And then I'll go down to the catch and release water on the South Platte and change flies 32 times trying to catch this one fish. And, you know, I like them both. I mean, I don't really see it as, um, as better or worse than anything else. It's like appropriate, you know. You, you pull up to a stream and you go, this is 10 car water.